The Lexus IS was introduced 20 years ago as a true rear-wheel drive luxury sports sedan to take on the Germans. Now, the IS started out with a bang, but really hasn't changed over the last few years. Lexus is out to change that. Lexus just unveiled the newest 2021 IS, and there are a whole slew of changes from the outside, inside, tech, and power. Let's take a first look. On the outside, the bold new styling showcases a provocative design with an athletic stance. The front showcases the newly designed spindle grille with a 3D polyhedral structure. On the F Sport model, there is a different mesh pattern and there's a bottom air intake that allows air to flow in and cool the brakes. The headlamps are more sleek and slender and the L-shaped daytime running lights really pop out. And there are available tri-beam headlights as well. The side profile features a sharper overall contour that carries into the muscular shoulders over the rear wheel wells. There are also available 19 inch wheels, 18 inch are standard. The back of the IS features a lower rear deck that creates a better stance with the wider hips. The new L shaped blade style light bar that spans across the vehicle of course will draw the most eyes. Overall, the new 2021 IS is 1 inch longer and wider, 0.2 inches taller, but retains the same wheelbase. Inside, the new IS features a standard new Lux trim seating with power front seats, dual zone climate control, and available power moonroof. For F Sport, piano black accents are found within the cabin, and there are numerous colors to choose from for the new Lux interior such as red, caramel, and black. The F-Sport also features stainless steel door sills, different stylish F-Sport seats, as well as many standard features such as heated and ventilated function, heated steering wheel, F-Sport instrument cluster, and active sound control, which improves performance notes of the V6 while reducing unpleasant tones. All IS features a standard 8-inch touchscreen that is easier to reach, but there will be available 10.3-inch touchscreen as well. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard, as well as Amazon Alexa integration. The available Mark Levinson premium sound system is now enhanced with 17 speakers pushing over 1,800 watts. As for drivetrain and powertrains, the new IS will be available as all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. The IS300 rear-wheel drive features a 2-liter turbo 4-cylinder engine rated at 241 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. Interesting enough, the IS300 all-wheel drive will feature a different engine, a natural aspirated 3.5-liter V6 rated at 260 horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque. So with all-wheel drive, you do get a little bit more horsepower, but a little bit less torque. As for the IS350, it doesn't matter if you get the rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, the engine is the same. It's a natural aspirated 3.5 liter V6 that produces 311 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque. However, depending on if you select the rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, the transmission is different. The rear-wheel drive IS350 is mated to a 8-speed automatic, while the all-wheel drive IS350 is mated to a 6-speed automatic. 0 to 60 comes in around 5.7 seconds. F Sport does have available dynamic handling package that includes adaptive variable suspension, 19-inch forged BBS wheels, and Torsen Limited Slip Differential. Now, the 2021 IS also comes standard with the newest Lexus Safety System Plus 2.5. This includes pre-collision system, auto braking, pedestrian detection, all-speed dynamic radar cruise control, emergency steering assist, lane departure alert, lane tracing assist, auto high beam, and road sign assist. The IS also gets standard blind spot monitor and rear cross traffic alert. Next, let me show you an intro video from Lexus about the brand new 2021 IS.
Okay, I'm here with the new Lexus IS. Let's take a closer look. The exterior design immediately draws attention, but there's function to the form as well. The accent lines across the front end provide a distinct appearance, and they also highlight the low center of gravity design of the new IS. Look at the front end, and you'll notice the hood is lower, which also accents the wider wheel well arches to accommodate the larger wheels. The headlamps have a slimmer design that blends in nicely with the low profile hood. This F-Sport grille looks sharp, but it also has these functional air inlets to assist brake cooling. Along the sides, the sleek lines of the rocker panels flow all the way up through the rear wheel arch. Now the C-pillar here is reinforced for enhanced rigidity to assist with driving dynamics, but you'll also notice the roof line tapers downward sharply into this rear deck. The side profile silhouette evokes a coupe-like appearance. And how about the rear of this vehicle? The deck lid is crisp and it sets the tone for the dramatic blade style tail light that is accented by L-shaped designs at each end. One of the coolest parts is how the blade design has a ridge to it. Underneath those good looks though are rigidity enhancements which ultimately create a stiffer structure so that the IS can accommodate increased performance demands. Engineers look to reduce unsprung weight, so that means lighter coil springs, the use of aluminum A-arms, and lighter stabilizer bars. New swing valve shock absorbers feature ultra-low velocity valves in their pistons to manage oil flow in response to even the smallest road bumps. The new shocks provide consistent ride quality on all types of roads. F-Sport models feature a host of cool features that enhance the sporty soul of the IS. Things like the signature F-Sport grille, rear spoiler, and more. There are a few features that are my favorite though, like the stylish and throaty exhaust and diffuser. And you can't deny how great these new 19-inch F-Sport wheels look either. And how about this new circuit red interior color that's unique to F-Sport models? I love it. Inside are some great new tech upgrades like this 10.3-inch touchscreen that's closer to the driver and features Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Alexa compatibility. When equipped with the new available Mark Levinson sound system, there are 17 speakers and a whopping 1,800 watts. That's nearly 1,000 more watts than the previous model. My favorite upgrade for F-Sport models has to be the dynamic handling package. This adds the adaptive variable suspension system, which has been fine-tuned to complement the changes on the new IS. Rear-wheel drive versions will also get a torsion limited slip differential that will help provide additional traction when you need it most. Let's talk about drive modes. The addition of Sport S Plus enhances performance by advancing the engine and transmission mapping, and it also adjusts the EPS steering assist and damping force for sportier handling. The new IS is the first Lexus to receive the newest LSS Plus safety system, offering a host of safety features designed to help make the road safer. Now for 2021, the IS will be offered in rear wheel drive and all wheel drive options. Plus there are three different engine options available, highlighted by the 311 horsepower, three and a half liter V6 on F Sport models. The new IS, it's just loaded with new performance upgrades that make this sports sedan tough to beat. The new 2021 IS is expected to arrive in dealerships fall of 2020 and will be available for sale in 40 countries around the world, including the US, Japan, and other countries in Asia. As for pricing, no specific numbers were given yet. So overall, what are your thoughts about the new IS? Is this a big improvement over the current generation or is this more of an evolution? Thanks for watching, hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more first looks, news and reviews.